Sometimes we need to be able to share files with other users. And if you're a professional house like we are, well, you might find that you're using Final Cut Pro and you're using Sony Vegas or really any other tool. This technique can be applied to any number of different tools. Well, Final Cut is a little bit uh, finicky about what it does and it doesn't accept and what formats it will and won't look at. So what we can do is we can convert any kind of video file into a format that Final Cut can read and we can exchange files back and forth and it makes it really easy so that we're not going through lots of, of conforms and transcodes and doing all kinds of things. We can use one file format that will read in pretty much any application across the map. So for instance right now we're going to look at some AV AVCHD footage and we might need to get that AVCHD footage over into Final Cut. When you use Final Cut, you use log and import and it converts that footage over to either ProRes or Apple Intermediary Codec, whichever you prefer. However, it's not always easy to get that ProRes or that AIC into another application. And conversely, it might be that you've been working in another application, but you need to move it over to Final Cut. So we're going to look at how you can make those files compatible with every NLE out there. This is one of the places that Vegas really shines is that it's a fantastic transcoding tool and can be used to convert to any number of different formats. Let's have a look. So we've got a piece of video up here on the timeline. I'm just going to get rid of the audio there really quickly. And we just need to take this video and convert it so that it can be read in Final Cut. It's quite easy. And we can do this a couple of ways. If we've got just one file, all we need to do is go to File, Render As, and we're going to choose in the drop down menu Sony MXF. See, the MXF format or the material exchange format is something that's readable in just about every application on the planet. In this case, we're going to run down and we can select any number of different MXF formats. We could choose the HD 1440, but since our, our uh, media originated at 1920 1080 60i we can come down here and choose 422 1920 1080 60i 50 megabits and that will allow us to create a file that will be completely readable inside of Final Cut or inside of just about any other editing application you want to work with whether it's Edius or Premiere uh, or Avid uh, these are all really simple to use now you will need to go to the Sony website and download the free plugin for Final Cut so that you can read the MXF file formats and that's just simply uh, going to sony.com forward slash XDCAM as you can see on the screen here and that's really all there is to it. Now you can see it's really quite simple and it doesn't take very long to convert this just by simply choosing this file format. One thing that also can be done is you can import in Final Cut into ProRes and you can download the ProRes codec for Windows for free and that will allow Vegas and some other applications to be able to read your ProRes content in a Windows environment. But this MXF format, the uh, material exchange format, is ubiquitous. It's read across pretty well every platform that's out there and you're able to convert it to a 422 color space and it's great for compositing and doing other work with. So have a look at the MXF file format. Stay tuned for more fast tips from VAST.